Hey guys, we're back. We're in the girls' dormitory. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Man, this is where I should have come to peep some titties. Mm -hmm. True. And it's okay, because they're all 18, right? Sweet. <laughs> uh, HIV and AIDS aren't just initials on a poster. These are serious life-threatening diseases. Nobody's immune from exposure. Get the facts now. Reward. My backpack, school books, my kitties. The bitch that stole my Franju new face cream. That was expensive shit and I need it for my acne. I know <laughs> exactly how it exfoliates and I'll be watching your, your skin, skin the second it clears up. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, but how are you going to see that part of his skin? Because it's for his butt. He's using No, he's been butt. using the acne cream to masturbate. Oh, shit, really? Let me see your dick. <laughs> Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Intrusive surveillance. Um. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Welcome to Black Hill. Mm. No roommates. That's nice. Red ah. 217. No way in hell am I ever going in here. What well, uh, is 217 specific to uh... Victoria? Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Well, isn't like 217 like a uh, reference to a horror movie? Mm hmm. As if. <laughs> Juliet, extreme reporter. Oh, Things it's still from a the cheerleader time. at heart. Or just this. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. It is the room from The Shining. Okay. Be on alert on campus. <clears throat> Be aware of your location, let a friend know where you're and what you're doing, for instance. Alright. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Geek Girls Club. Uh, wow. No boys, period. The usual flying dragon shit. <laughs> um, oh, Pierce Anthony. Terry Brooks. Not bad. You're I don't not know the other ones. In. Oh, well, maybe today you are. Terry Brooks did the, um, fucking, I stopped reading it. Oh, what's the fucking name of his series? Anyways, Pierce Anthony, you'd like his books. Why? Very, I don't know, it, it's a fantasy novel. Well, you like fantasy anyways. You read a lot of fantasy novels. Now I have been. Yeah, because of Game of Thrones. Yeah. <coughs> Uh, Pierce Anthony's novels are all kind of surrealism uh, and puns. Oh, really? Everybody in his... And you liked it? Yeah. Because it's oh, it's I absurd. Guess you liked like, some puns, it, it was a lot right? of absurdity. Um, he, like... Everybody in his novels has, in his world, has a one power, a single power, and some people's powers are just, like, shit. Mm -hmm. Like, one girl's power is putting a spot on a wall. Oh, no. She can just make spots appear on walls. That's it. Whereas other people have like that ultimate powers. That would be fun powers. to write. Yeah. Um, lots of puns like uh, uh, a sand bank. A character washes up on a sand bank at one point and it's just all coins because it's a bank. Oh. Like it's all kinds of shit like that. Huh. Interesting. Just oh, I read this. Thanks for the warning. We're talking about a book. Uh, Pierce Anthony novels. Yes. 
they're a very different kind of. Uh, I've been waiting for like you know something to be adapted from his novels because he's pretty famous in. <laughs> Should I hit another one? At least that's an alarm oh. from this century. Oh. Um, he's it, pretty famous among uh, uh, fantasy circles. It would make for a good adaptation to a game like this, I think. Yeah. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. We get it, she's missing. Somebody has gone crazy with these posters. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. <laughs> kind of good. <laughs> I kind of like it. I like, uh, well, the crap at the bottom just doesn't even, but. <laughs> Will bang for Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Be the change you wish to see. Oh, oh Victoria, room? give me a fucking okay. break. Ooh, let's see in Victoria's room. Is Max. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? Uh, boobs? <laughs> Seems about as, like, nonsensical as we day. We day. Oh. Yeah. Warren should yeah. be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Inspiration for the sake of inspiration, but the message has no real substance. Mm. <laughs> the Forks. Is that a band? I don't know. I like it. Is that the band that likes the Ramones? Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. What can we gather from her? Here. Do you think she plays the guitar? Yes. <gasps> Mommy! Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about Blackwell's honor student. Is this true? The principal said that it was a f serious false charge and that he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP. Motherfucker. No, it's from just our mom, straight up mom. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, fuck. <laughs> if it was my dad, I could have called him a motherfucker. Yeah, well, she could um, be a motherfucker, too. Not, like, herself. So... Or maybe herself. If you say you're sick, he says he's going to tell your parents that you're making up stories and that you're causing conflict and disruptions. Yeah. And if you tell on the kids... The illusion of choice? Might be. I wonder if they both have the same consequence or not. Fuck. Cookies. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. <coughs> Never forget the day you were born, your first smile. It was love at first sight. It's your special day. We miss. You're so proud. You're following your dreams. We love your mother. Why'd she change marker font? In the middle. <laughs> That's, it's a cart. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Man Ray. Money. It's such making a pretty kids. guitar. I need to play it more. Money, making kids happy since food. <laughs> I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. Yeah, that's why but you I can't be help using it. it. I'm analog, not digital. Well, it's a dumb choice. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. 
This whole analog, not digital, with her instant film seems like a cop out for somebody who doesn't want to learn aperture yeah, or Yeah, totally. Film speeds Fuck shutter are, speed. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> I don't need to learn, sir. I'm all about instant. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. <gasps> Yet. <laughs> I feel like, um, right there, she's channeling the janitor. Always yeah. looking. <laughs> You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. These actions will have consequences. And she will grow. And One grow. day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, about drafts, I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just holler back, girl. Y'all. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Cause you ain't no holler back, girl. Laptop for what? Oh. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. Uh, Mount yeah. Baker in the background. <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah. I thought that was it. I think that might be a crease in the photo. I think the top one is. I think this one's Mount Baker. I think that's a crease in the photo, too. What do you guys think? Crease or Mount Baker? Well, Who do you love more? Been me or Fraser? To Seattle. Yeah. And you can't see Mount Baker from Seattle. You can see Mount Baker from everywhere. You can see it from here. Oh my god, I'll never forget that trip to Seattle with your parents. <laughs> that was a good hockey game. Is and a that great Mount fight. Baker? I think so. Yeah, that's totally. I think that's Mount Baker. Is that one Mount Baker? <laughs> yes, yeah, Mount. Me. That one's Mount Baker, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's pretty cute. Yeah, it's Man, cute. Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. A Fremont Troll? Well, I don't know what that is. I'm guessing that's a thing somewhere in Seattle under a bridge. They all said that it's Mount Baker. Cartier awesome. Bresson, do I know? Hamilton, the greatest. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now play some classic gas. Oh, Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Uh, this is, um... This could get you flagged. Yeah, this is definitely flaggable. This is, um, uh... Uh, Gonzalez. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. He gets flagged. It's another video game he's been. Mm -hmm. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Oh, I'm cute. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> It feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. You'll pass that. What? You'll pass an eyeball. A teddy bear eyeball. Oh. <laughs> you don't need to go to the ER for that. <clears throat> Overzealous parents. 
Can the Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Two minute may consider the cinematic content of the graphic life altering controversial nature of the collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and most discriminating viewer. I congratulate Sick on your taste of eagerly awaiting your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. Uh, that's some pretty creepy shit there, Warren. Isn't Cannibal Holocaust that genuinely fucking creepy movie in which they like tortured and killed animals for its sake. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. It's not that bad of a movie, actually. They never kid animals, killed animals, just looked real. That's a myth, I think. No, I read a thing where they, they actually the talked about, like, the the creator of the movie actually um, regrets the turtle scene. Oh, really? It portrays, like, this tribe, supposed to be a real tribe, but it's actors, but, like, they actually murder a turtle in a really bad way. Oh, really? Yeah. Aww. And people of, like, animal rights people of... The turtle scene is disgusting as fuck, but the movie is awesome. You can use the computer, apparently, eh? Yeah. You need to turn off those lights. Save electricity. Mm. Hmm? Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. Wait, what? Quick sketch of my new muse. Oh. Uh. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Uh, Warren is pretty fucking transparent. Can I go down? No. I can't actually use it. It's just a drawing of a computer. <laughs> My family's <laughs> poor. <laughs> oh, shit. Good thing we have the scholarship. People who want to send me emails have to run here and, like, write them on my computer. <laughs> uh, what was the other thing I didn't interact with? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh god, is she playing some Jose Gonzalez too? Mm. <laughs> is she actually Jose Gonzalez? Maybe. This is a docudrama of his life. I never heard about that, but. Before his transition. <laughs> some repeat photos there, sunshine. I don't even know how you did that. Yeah, really, with the fucking. <laughs> yeah. With the Polaroid. Can't even eat cookies. It's hard to believe I'm 18 oh. now. There's a sticky I'm note. lucky my parents enabled my photo habit yeah. into adulthood. That one? Yeah. We already looked at that. Yeah, it's Warren oh, being a creep. Oh, right. a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. How are boys allowed to... Oh, that came with the flash drive. Okay, yeah. he didn't leave that there himself. Yeah, no, there's no boys allowed. In an 18-year-old... Yeah, at a grade 12 prep school, I don't think guys would be allowed into the girls' dorm. Hell, they don't let them into, like, college dorms. Yeah. Ours was co-ed. You! Yeah, it's different in Canada. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Uh. She can't open the door? Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Let me out, Julianne. This is so stupid. 
answer, you wuss. <laughs> I got my own drone right here, peeping some titties. You are Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? <laughs> oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. I recognize so that voice. There's a few voices I've recognized so far. Yeah? Someone said they were surprised that you haven't noticed Max's voice actress? Well, Max's voice actress, to me, sounded like... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how locked in works. To me, everybody sounds like Ellie or Ellen Page, either one. Ashley Birch plays Chloe. We oh, barely heard her voice. Thanks for spoiling. We would have noticed as soon as we met her. Oh, you think we would have? We haven't. I'm sure it would have popped she's, out. She's talked what? already. We haven't met Chloe. Oh. Chloe's our old friend that we haven't seen yet. Mm. It's Kiefer Sutherland? Yeah, I thought it was. Anyways, what did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Um... Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Wow, that really made Just her happy. Just because I don't talk yeah. a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? Don't look right now. According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Why couldn't I look down? Um. People are spoiling stuff? What you saying? Uh, Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. Who is Dana? Did we meet Dana? Uh, we walked by her in the hall. <coughs> but I don't think we know that much about her. Uh. Oh, fuck. Who has the hard drive? Oh, wasn't it Dana who has it? Yeah. Oh, we need proof that she's innocent so For that sexting? Juliet will leave so we can get in to get Warren's flash drive. How would I find proof of that? Do we have to go find the guy or something? Uh, this place is a real fucking hole. Yeah, it is. Fuck you, Prescott. I can help Dana and check out Victoria's room to find out if she is the kind of person I hope oh. she's not. Thank you, game coach. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Whoa, I have no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting edge tech. They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kind of like Victoria. Is that Victoria in a bikini? In the middle? Uh, it is, so, yeah. it's self-portraits. Yeah. I'm perving on Victoria. Yeah, we are. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, I get it. Enter the <coughs> Vortex Club. No. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. Fuck yeah! It Let me just check to see if she posted my picture. Can't. Max's voice actress was in iCarly very briefly. Oh. Who was she? Um, this can't be retina. It's not Macintosh. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo and for this nice shot. Oh, so I guess my photo, the, the photo of us would be on here if we were mean to her. Boom! Uh. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Who 
Who is she sending this to? Victoria sent it to Taylor. So sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to mention, all I had to do was mention to Julia that I saw a nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. She deserves it for slutting Zach away from me. As That's for Dana, Dana who Cooper. gives a shit. Get out your popcorn, bitches! How do you slut somebody away? I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna print that in a second. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Wow. Whoa. What's that? Oh. I totally saw boobs. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? Whoa, seriously? How insecure. <laughs> I would get rid of that. Yeah, that's pretty insecure right there. Did you print that thing? Ooh, Gazette. This is a rich girl's room. <laughs> I um, bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Uh, a vortex club called by Juliet Watson. Juliet's uh, uh, the girl who thinks girl. she's a reporter. Yeah, and the girl who's outside of Dana's room right now. Oh. Victoria, they mm -hmm. tried to interview Dumping. Victoria Chase, but she refused to comment. Imagine a time when computer nerds were dumped into garbage cans and blue hair was a cause for expulsion and even violence. Male students who wore earrings and bullied, beaten, now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. So the Vortex Club was originally a haven for peer pressure and the jet. Every generation experiences how ironic for the revolutionary roots of social misfits comes some student claim it's in Lee's cult, or is it one of a okay, blah, blah. Mm. Mm. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says, that's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. You disagree for this one? Oh. Oh, I That's had a terrible movie. <laughs> yeah, I had such fucking high hope. So, Final Fantasy Spirits Within was the Final Fantasy movie that hit the big screen. Yeah. Like, everywhere. That's I went the to one see that it you, Barry. That's the one that you've shown me shots of, right? Like, there's one scene from oh, it? Oh, man, this is no. so oh, wrong. Okay. You're thinking of Advent. I better find proof fast. Yeah. Advent Children, Children. was yeah. amazing. It was a short film that they did that should have been the Final Fantasy movie. Spirits Within had nothing to do with fucking Final Fantasy Universe, which... From what I've heard, from what I've seen, most Final Fantasy games haven't had anything to do with Final Fantasy Universe since, like, 7. Mm. Um, I've complained about that ad nauseum on the show. But Spirits of Within was just so dry and boring. And it was su it sucks because I thought it was going to be, like, a new... like. Remember, you're not a criminal. You're a ninja. So move. The way that I've been calling for these awesome CG companies to make movies, mm -hmm. that I've been calling for it ever since then. Mm. And, and you that saw it was Barry? That was, like, what, like 12 years ago? Yeah, and that was going to be like the new era of like bringing CG movies that were serious for like an older crowd. And it was just so fucking dry. So dry. Aww, Those boots are made for walking runways. And the... Dior, um, Givenchy... You could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Anyways, and uh, yeah, it just was nonsensical. The plot just didn't make sense. It was hard to follow. It was weird. Mm -hmm. And unentertaining, which is its worst. Um, sin. Before I grab that, I want to <coughs> use her tablet real quick. Is she going to get a 3D printer for <gasps> her dorm room? Oh my room? god. Maybe I will join her posse. <laughs> uh, she, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of want a 3D printer too. <laughs> I'm just a real fucking whore for uh, uh, gadgets. Yep. New yes, fang you are. fangled gadgets. Oh my god. Wow. Dude. This whole fucking community just gets off on this guy. She especially does. That was from 2009. It's oh, okay. 2013, that's, and yeah, she's been carrying it around. Weird. Oh, so he's a has-been, but she doesn't think so, I guess. Probably, yeah, no. right? This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. You can 3D print drones. Jesus. 
That's why uh, 3D printing, drone aficionados print custom parts. Like, I'm not going to become a crazy hobbyist like drone people. Um, they make, like, they custom design their own drones. Yeah. And print them and then That's fly them. That's cool. That's pretty cool. But I'm not going that far. Okay. Ouch. Well, at least she puts oh. her photographs out there. Unlike me. Uh, oh, I should see these. <gasps> I could mess them up. Speaking of selfies. <coughs> oh, she's copying me. Yeah, Let's she play is. a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this is one. Is it a big there. cock? Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Oh, come on. Could have made a dick out of it. Yeah, it's not very. Should have had a choice. Can I 3D print a 3D printer? <laughs> oh man, that'd be cool. That's mean, but she earned it. I'm gonna leave that. It's a victimless crime. Yeah. Although, news is gonna get out that I printed this off. <laughs> Oi. Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. Well, maybe and I hope matter. so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Warren's flash drive is on my desk. You saved me from the hobgoblin. <laughs> Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. And I'm getting peep all the titties. Hello. Seriously though. What? All their bras just show. Yeah, it's true. Which is. Do you think that's what kind of it it's like nowadays? Dana really that's does look so stressed about all this. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Her earrings defy gravity. <laughs> Victoria is not nice. I don't get it, she has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it and Victoria <laughs> creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. The special folder called Max? What do you think is in it? It would be a cool sticker without the words. This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I said I could write anything that I, it's from Logan. So that I should write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever. I know I acted like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not that kind of man. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pussed out. If you need money, let me know. Pussed out. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Yoink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Preggers. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. Yeah, it's for mine. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Whoops. Excuse me. Rewind. <laughs> nice, Max. You hurt her feelings <laughs> by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Yeah, put that shit down. Yeah. You okay, Max? <laughs> <laughs> it turns out she's not rewinding time at all. Yeah, totally. <laughs> she's just like... <laughs> Putting it back down. <laughs> and never just... <laughs> feels, feels too weirded out yeah. to, like, they just pretend they it never happened. It it's hard to, like, even acknowledge that this just <laughs> happened. They're like, you know what? 
It is easier just to pretend you never did any of that. <laughs> Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I shouldn't look. But everybody can of look. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. You can... It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Oh well, the thing didn't say it'd have consequences, so... There's that damn flash drive. After I snoop a bit more. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Well, bye. Good lord, Dana really was on her own. Mm. All right, um, take that flash drive. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Was that my inner monologue? I think it was. I guess so. That was pretty, um... That was fucked up. Yeah, that was... Dude, a, never even, talk yeah. like that again. <laughs> even for an inner monologue, that was pretty fucking nerdy. Look at the table, there is... Yeah. I assume Dana kept the appointment. You should really, um... Hide that not, shit a little bit more if you don't yeah. want people to know. So she got an abortion? Uh, not necessarily. I think that's what that whole thing's going but on. But it said pregnancy. Pregnancy test and then... I assume Dana kept the appointment. Fertility, pregnancy, and childbirth. I think... But she had a book about how to be a baby mama. I think she read it, or she read the book and realized how hard that is. <laughs> mm. And then... I think this might be about him pussing out. Mm. When he found out. So where am I supposed to go now? I have to meet up with Warren in the parking lot. I don't like this kid. Oh. I'm gonna break it off. You can talk to him. Dana once more. Oh. Thank you guys. Hey, Dana. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Nope. You're <laughs> pregnant. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have. Yeah. Me neither, but I did. Anyway. Oh, what about the other? Deadbeat dad? You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Are you boasting? Who then? And you don't have she to is. tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Is this, gonna, is this like a thing girls do now? Like, I got pregnant from some of the guys. Some of the guys have made me pregnant. I don't know. I'm not very in touch with girls these days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was totally Samuel. Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn. I better rewind. Why? Cause she got hit with a football. But why is I don't get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Ouch, poor Alyssa. That'll yeah, leave you a don't bruise. want her to get hit. So I'll rewind his douchebaggery. Yep. Oh, ow. Right. 
I'll catch it. Fuck this shit! Ow! I could almost feel sorry for him if he wasn't such a serious dick. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interview. Fuck this shit! Um... Can you do something with her? Like, get her to move? Oh. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. You also prevented a girl from getting shot. Yeah. <laughs> Now that's what I call instant karma. Now Alyssa can savor her bad novel in peace. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. <coughs> I'm just gonna be a politician. I'm getting everybody to like me. Yeah, man. It's probably a good idea. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. How do I get to the parking lot? This is where I could have gotten the little squirrel drinking yeah. beer. Up to it. Yeah. Hmm. What was this? Oh. All right. So, I guess we'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll head to meet up with Nerdman Deluxe. His name is Warren. Continue after this. <laughs> 